Hi, my name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Bipolar Verbal Blog. Today I've written an, a whole article on how to be productive when you have depression. Now, I tend to be depressed on an ongoing basis, and yet I work for myself and I work from home. And so I really have to worry about being productive because there's no boss, uh, there's no one screaming to me to, to make a deadline. I really have to make sure that I put that pressure on myself in order to be productive so that I can maintain a business. And But the question that people always ask me is how do you do that? Now, like I said, I do have an article with tips and the link is below, but uh, I want to talk about one specific thing, which is logic. So I know it sounds really basic, but for me, logic is a way of fighting against bipolar. Bipolar is, by its very nature, extremely illogical. Bipolar is emotional. Bipolar is about flights of fancy that don't make sense. It's a mental illness. That's what it is and that's what it does. So in my experience, you can actually fight that with logic. What do I mean by that? So for example, I wake up in the morning, maybe I get up, have some coffee, feed the cats, that kind of thing, and then I don't wanna work. Big shock, many people don't. Um, and so I say to myself, I have to work. I have to work. This is not an optional thing. Just because I'm at home and I'm on my couch, that doesn't make work optional, not at all. And the logic behind that is I need to work in order to actually pay for the roof over my head, to pay for my kitten kibble, to pay for the fact that I occasionally order out. These things require money and money requires work. Now, I realize that this seems very basic, but it's something that makes sense in my brain that will get me kickstarted in the morning and go, yes, of course I need to work. Of course I can't give in to the depression. Of course I can't give in to just sitting here and binge watching, you know, yellow jackets. I can't do that. I have to actually do something productive with my time so that I can maintain any kind of standard of living. Now, this is not to suggest that depression doesn't win sometimes, because depression certainly does win sometimes. And no matter how much I talk back to depression, sometimes it's just bigger and stronger than me. I will be the first to admit that. But that doesn't mean it isn't worth trying. And logic is such a powerful tool to have on your side. It's a weapon against bipolar disorder. Bipolar, as I said, is not logical. That means you can actually fight it with logic. And you can make up your own rules that make sense to you in terms of logic. But for me, I think to myself, well, you know, my cat actually has to go in and have surgery. And I actually right now have no way of paying for that. So what I need to do now is pick up extra work so that I can actually pay that bill. Again, I know that seems simple, but when you're in the throes of a depression, logic is like the last thing that you're thinking about. So force yourself to think logically, use it against the depression. Sometimes you'll win. My name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Bipolar Burble.